What's up everybody? Andre and Cody DeQuisto here with Lone Wolf Custom Gear and today we're going to take you through all the features of the new 2023 Crossover Climber. Um, why don't you start walking us through some of the main features and why we're looking at what we're looking at. Okay, so first of all I'd like to apologize for it taking so long, uh, but I read a couple posts where a lot of people were thinking he's just going to knock off his original design replace it with some machined uh, platform. So I wanted to get a little creative on this. So I took a little bit longer uh, and actually look back when I predominantly use a two-piece climber and some of the issues I had with it. Uh, the original two-piece climber was a 16 and a half pound hand climber. Love the stand, I still love it to this day. Um, but got away from hunting from it because of the timber and the, and the terrain I was in. So some of the main things that uh, bothered me about it was the hand climber you had to just basically disengage if you were to stand up to take a shot or get out of the way or literally turn it around the tree and move it. So what we're doing here, a lot of people think there's just not a seat coming with this, but there will be a two-stage seat that folds in half. And with this hand climber, you have the same room as our old hand climber. It'll be the same basic distance, but when you go to stand up, you'll be able to simply just with your hip bump part of the seat out of the way and actually have more platform space and be able to get right up against the tree without disengaging anything on the platform. I think that's gonna be huge. Another thing I did on this, you remember the hand climber uh, hinge system where you had to flip an arm over and you're climbing and then one arm would come up and come down a little bit if you weren't real, real clean on it. We, we actually put little independent hinges on there. So when these arms go up and you snug them down, they're staying right where they're at the whole time. Another big improvement. Yeah, so, and even what he was touching on just a moment ago, uh, I know everybody's probably thinking, wow, that looks like a, a weird, interesting seat. But what that does is it gets you that much closer to the tree. You don't have to fight and work around the obstruction of that solid bar. Um, and another that's, and that's standing out there away yeah, from the tree. And, and... Um, another key thing to point out right away, since we're looking at the top though, is your sit bar. So this is not only a hand climber, it's a sit and climb. Um, okay, again, old, old school. The hand climbing we had before, you remember we had a strap, a couple of steel hooks on it. Very cumbersome to sit and climb with it. You could do it, get the weight off it, but it was always ca catching in the in the stomach uh, and noisy and, and a, a, a big problem. What we did now is we took my original sit and climb bar and we got a micro bar in here. This thing only weighs like nine ounces and allows you to just sit and climb effortlessly without any upper body um, strength and if you wanted to use it as a hand climber you step over it like the old school um, slider back if you want to have it as an armrest you can keep it out in front of you on your knees or if you want to leave it out as a bar just for support while you're standing you can put it anywhere you want or or you could not bolt it on if, yeah. you, if you don't want to use Strictly it as, hand a, as, a, as a sit and climb you don't need it but so, it will come with it as a yep. standard and you, you could uh, put it on or not so um, now you notice we stayed with the staples I designed this belt and cam system years ago. I still think it's the best out there. So I didn't want to try and reinvent that wheel. And there's a problem out in the industry right now where um, the old lone wolf Novix has left everybody without replacement parts on their climbers. So this belt will literally be interchangeable into all the old um, lone wolf alphas and sit and climbs that are out in the field now. So that'll be an advantage for um, guys that have stands there, expensive stands that they can't even use. So. So another, another key point too, looking at the stand. So um, you see, we got the grommet system, just like the hang-ons and the climbing stick. So this is gonna work to integrate the top piece to the bottom piece. Now with that, you know, as dad was talking about these independent hinges, um, if you'll look closely, this now. Yeah, completely flat. Completely this will flat. be the uh, uh, inch and seven eighths thick, the, the flattest stand we've ever, um, made or designed that's probably on the market. Uh, but the problem with the old hand climber again was it, it, it rode on top of the outside the stabilizer bar, shifted around, you had to have it bungeed in there good. Now with this grommet system, there's holes uh, basically on our, like our, our hang-ons that are uh, literally built into the stand. And once you place that on there and strap it on or use a, a J-hook system we got coming, it is not moving, it'll stay exactly where it's at. Yeah, and, and to that point, with the profile, so, and. We'll get into that this shortly, or maybe we go through that real quick before we talk about the stabilizer. But if you look, you know, this is this is a feature not to be overlooked. It's these these hinges, and they're actually recessed into the platform itself, along with the stabilizer. Everything blends right into one plane, 
and it is under two inches from the side. You'll uh, notice with top and bottom. We've even machined in the stabilizer into the uh, 5 8 inch material. So when you fold it, there'll be a couple of uh, um, Velcro tabs here that actually cause resistance. So you pop it down, she locks in, and when you want to open it back up, you just hit your thumb here and you can open it. But if you see that, that is completely as thin as a laptop. Um, when you need to go pull your climber on there, you have your grommet system with the holes. And then what that's gonna do is allow that to ride in there and not be moving around once you strapped in. Uh, we will have a, a locking mechanism here too that's simple and quick that you lock her in. Now your seat pads, there's gonna be, um, we, we actually didn't talk about that yet. So the pads will ride on there. Uh, it's either gonna be a two-staged, like we talked a little bit about foam pad, or we do have a web seat design that we're planning on riding um, somewhat on the arms, so it'll actually suspend over this frame system, and you can have your um, little more comfortable web type seats. So yep. that, that'll be coming also. Yeah, two options that don't hinder uh, your maneuverability when up in the stand, you know, to utilize this, uh, this half moon shape of the top. Let's go over to the stabilizer. Okay, improvement of the, um, uh, on the platform part of this. So what I did, you'll notice that to save some of this weight, the old Lone Wolf one that I made literally had a framework that was way bigger than this, but it literally, you had the same amount of room that you had on the stand because the framework came on the outside and the tubes cut you off anyhow. So right now, you're basically, you have the same width you have on a, uh, a Lone Wolf two-piece hand climber now. Um, and with the machined aluminum being stronger, we're able to go a little bit lighter and, and knock off a lot of weight. This stand's gonna come in five pounds uh, lighter than the, uh, the old two-piece hand climber. And that's the hand climber, mind you. Like this well, is this a full is sit and climb. Yeah, it's now. a full sit and climb. So you're looking at- Sit and climb was 20 or yeah. 18 pounds, I think. Just like a lot of the other familiar tech you see on the rest of the DeQuisto series line, the platform is equipped with bow holder ports um, around the entire edge and seven different tie down uh, cleats within the platform, along with this one special deal here for uh, backpacks. Yeah. Another unique, unique feature, this, this stand will be able to backpack any way you want. So if you want belts up over your head, you can do it, or if you want um, the belts down. So it's got, uh, it's, it's just a very versatile stand. You can use it as a hand climber, sit and climb, uh, super compact. Um, Let's talk about these teeth. Um, Aggressive teeth, design. teeth. Okay, um, so well, basically I was the first one to bring teeth to the climbing stand industry uh, as a way for stands not to slip down trees. And you can see on this one here, we've literally widened out even the, the gap and they're very aggressive teeth. So we want these things uh, bearing in, get two or three of them in, in the bark when you climb. Um, so that'll take a, a lot of peace of mind of uh, the old type of climbers that disengage and slid on, on trees. So very aggressive. The new crossover climber is coming in right at 24 by 16 and a half inches for the platform size. And the seat platform is 16 and a half by 13 inches. Now keep in mind with the square style of the platform and the radius at the top, this really allows you more room than your standard style of platform. Yeah, because we have nothing else to compare it to but the original hand climber. Yeah. Literally we mentioned before, that this width is what you have on that bigger platform now. So this has the same room as the old Alphas did. It's a little shorter because now you don't have a seat cutting you off and you have more space that you can uh, stand on further back on the uh, platform. Yep. Okay, another improvement that a lot of guys complained about years ago is we had the uh, stabilizer climbing straps that had a two-piece system and that was plastic and they ended up not lasting a long time or breaking. So what we did now is we actually took some uh, um, straps with a permanent buckle, and you'll affix your bottom one to the stand here. And this one is uh, simply, with a sewn loop, you'll take on and off, and you'll actually connect to uh, a hook or your knob system in here and pull it. What it does is it keeps everything on the outside of all the stands. So if you had to kick your stabilizer, or uh, your sit and climb bar back, it clears, and it allows you to adjust while you're climbing um, without having to detach pieces constantly and, and, and be cumbersome. So these will be included yeah. also. So just to be clear, you never have to lace that through. So you just take it off the knob and then when you pack up, you're strapping your backpack on or anything, you just use that same strap, but you're never having to go
go through the cumbersome act of lacing that back through because you don't have a permanent attachment. And we'll put that together a little bit later and show you on the, uh, in the video how that all goes. So another thing that uh, I didn't care for a lot with the original one was that the stabilizer bar was literally built on top of the framework and was so high that when you went to climb, it would run into the tree. You get some situations where you literally, you know, you didn't have enough standard belt um, to, to change the pitch. So by lowering this, now we have a ton of room in there. You don't have to have a problem with any stabilizer running into the tree. And also our old original climbing method was stirrups underneath the hinges, which you can still do that. So if you have smaller feet or you like that process, I did remember a lot of guys didn't care to pigeon toe their, their, um, their feet out. So now what we did is we integrated a climbing system for your boots right underneath the stabilizer bar. So if you got some really big boots that wouldn't fit in here, uh, or you like to keep your legs straight, you literally can step into here um, and climb that, that way. The new crossover climber will come equipped with our new deluxe carrying straps, equipped with the new load lifter technology, as well as the stabilizer straps, and a seat of your choice, either the standard or the mess option. All right, we're gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step on how to pack this baby up. Okay, this is one of the nicest features about this. You just basically break your torque knobs loose, slider, your stabilizer bar is gonna literally go completely flat with the stand. Uh, these hinges are a little different. They got a safety feature, they go over center, so you have to lift your arm up and then down, up, up and down. You get that nice and flat. You're gonna take your grommets that you have just like on your uh, hang-on system. There's two holes in your platform. Just line those up. And once you get those in those uh, holes, anything that you strap it down with, we're gonna use our, our climbing belts right now. And there's uh, actually T's built throughout the stand. So you can pull that tight. Second T, pull your strap tight. It's one of the most compact stands that uh, we've designed to date. You got nice backpacks now. Um, you can pack it above your head nice and high so you're not dragging anything through the brush. Another cool feature too, during pack up, if you notice how the sit bar comes down, you can pivot that out and use that as a little shelf for your backpack or gear. And hook it right up to the top, and for additional security, you can use those stabilizer straps to snug it right in. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, for more information on this product, as well as all of our other line and products, be sure to visit the website at www.lonewolfcustomgear.com. Appreciate your business, and God bless America.